Well, actually, the, the culture in Museo Thyssen has been always of very responsible consume. Mm -hmm. So we have a strategy which is trying to, I mean, to get the more from power, from energies in general, so in order to cut uh, the cost, to cut the use of energy. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the measures, one more measure in that way to make a more reasonable consuming. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it's um, actually embedded in, in the culture, in, 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 in energies in, in general, not only in power, but in water and, I mean, paper, other traits of consumption. So that's the, the culture of the museum. Well, uh, in general, museums are big consumers of power, of energy, so we have to take care very much of our collections of art, so they need humidity, they need uh, the right temperature, winter, summer. So uh, actually it's very important to be uh, reasonable in consuming and, and to be reasonable in cost cutting as well. If, if you can do both things at the same time, so that's perfect. And in this occasion, I think that moving uh, towards the um, renewable energies is, is the right way. I think in, in Museo Thyssen, as in, in general in museums, we are expert in sustainability. So imagine in, in Museum Thyssen we have a collection which comes from the 13th century to the 20th century. So it can be said that sustainability is to keep a work of art, a picture, in perfect shape eight centuries after, and that's sustainability. So it's a concept that we uh, own very much in our culture in general. In general, I think it's excellent in, 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 to, to take profit of all these uh, sources, which has a low impact in, in in the world, in the atmosphere, in the environment. Uh, particularly in Spain, we are a country which has been leading the way in that aspect, in renewable energies in, in general, but particularly in wind energy as well. And I think that for Spain, it's, it's a country which has uh, wind, sun, it's an, it's an excellent way to, to balance, to compensate the lack of uh, other sources of energy. And, and to make a most, um, more cost-effective um, economy. Mm -hmm. It is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, it's not, I mean, uh, to, to get a more cost-effective uh, um, use of the power in general, so it's not only a matter of coming to this kind of energy or other, but it's, as I said before, so it's a global strategy trying to make the most of the energy you are consuming every time. But it takes part of that as well to go through uh, wind energy or other, other national energies. Uh, well, mm, it's all my support in, in, in that project, in that challenge. To, to get a better environment in the world in general, to defend the, uh, the nature and try to deliver to the next generations uh, a, a planet, a world in, in the best say, <coughs> shape as possible. So as we do in a sense, we try to keep all these arts from ancient times uh, for the next generations in order they don't miss the culture, uh, civilizations, values, principles, all these things that represent a collection of art. So uh, at the end of the day, uh, in, in, in the politicians should take care as well about all the environment, all the planet, so to make the, 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 the life of the future generations the best quality as possible. <laughs>